This is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. Here's Burrow to throw right away. And the catch made, it's Tyler Boyd. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. On first and 10, Joe Burrow. Man open, that's Shamari Chase complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now Burrow, pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Here's Burrow. Escaping the pressure right. And that one caught downfield by Boyd. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. 22 yards there, a first down. Here we go, here we go. 11, Thomas. Right, 80. A first carry here for Joe Mixon. And yeah, boy, the strength on display there as he rumbles through tacklers for a gain of about eight. Back to Mixon on second down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. Burrow looking to pass. Open man is Higgins, and he's got it. Touchdown, Cincinnati. A five-yard touchdown catch, and the Bengals get the upper hand. That I lose. This afternoon. Well, Burrow and the Bengals offense stay in put. They'll go for two here. They'll look to throw. It's caught. And it's 8 nothing. So what do you make of that? You go on the road, you score the opening drive touchdown, opt to go for two, and all of a sudden they're up 8-zip. Yeah, this wasn't a decision that they made right here and right now. They made this decision during the week. Hey, if we get the ball and score right away, Let's show them that we feel like we're superior. Go for two and really put the pressure on them. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. The return man down to a D, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. First and ten, Thompson Robinson to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Man coverage is certainly a staple of their defense. It's built for plays like that, forcing that incompletion. Here's Thompson Robinson again on second and ten. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And they work this well on field across the 45. 22 yards there, a first down. The handoff to Ford up the middle. And across midfield he goes and into Bengal territory. Now second and three. Again, they turn to Ford. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10. On the ground.
ground, it's Ford. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on the second and short. They run with Ford. And a hard working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. This is Ford. <laughs> One quarter down, eight nothing to score. On to the second from Cleveland. It's the Browns in control of the football as they go to work on a first and goal. Six. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Ready? Now they'll run it on the toss. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight yard line. The offense stays out there. A big challenge here from this far back, but they're going for it on fourth and goal. Going for it. Thompson Robinson flush to his right. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Browns touchdown. Dorian Thompson Robinson, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Browns' decision to go for it pays off with six points. And this is a balancing act for a head coach with a rookie quarterback. You've got to walk a line with him. You don't want him getting happy feet, but you also don't want to rein in what worked for him in college. And here, he pulls it down, takes it himself, and takes it into the end zone. Kevin Stefanski going to leave the offense out to go for two. Ready, Thompson Robinson will throw for this. And unable to connect. They don't get the two-point conversion here. I know it's still just the first half, but we'll see if that two points looms large later. I would have kicked it. And I know that they were trying to equal the score, but sometimes you kind of get seduced into that. It's the first half. Kick the extra point and continue to play so you don't have to chase points later. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Here we go. The Bengals drive about to get going. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-ups and shit going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Now, well, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight. And just about every time. Go ahead and that thing, man. So far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. Here we go, here we go. Fourth down, but Burrow stays put. They're going for it. They'll try and throw forward with Burrow. 
Now looking for Higgins, but it is intercepted. Picked up by Grant Delpit. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. Well, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Ready. They'll run on first down. Four. And they've got it in the red zone now, down about the 19. Here's second and three. They'll keep it on the ground. It's four. Runs through the contact. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Up the middle they go. Four. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Hands it off out of the game. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. The DTR going to throw it here. Hard throw incomplete. Brandon Summers windows that's over football that exists when you're between the 20s. They don't exist when you're this close to the goal line. But as a former DB, I liked it closer to the goal line. Tighter windows made it easier to cover people, actually. Now the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. To throw is DTR. It's complete, swings it out to his running back, but he will not get away. He stops short of the marker. The Browns unable to move the chains on fourth down, and the Bengals will get the football back. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. Been a little bit of an interesting start. The first drive for him, Charles, they had the passing touchdown. In the second drive, he threw the interception. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. Jamar Chase. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Jamar Chase, 94 yards. And the Bengals are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. The Burrow's going to look to throw for it. And he's going to be taken down. It's a sack. to the touchdown. McPherson on to kick this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Cleveland offense ready to go. First down, here's Thompson Robinson. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Now it's second and ten. Thompson Robinson now to throw. Now he's free to move field. And finally taken down at the 34. First down now with that clock run. Here's Thompson Robinson looking to throw it. Trying to fit it into Moore, but it's intercepted. Cheetah Bay Aluzio with a pick. And the Bengals are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. Well, this is something we've seen before, partner. We've seen a defense bait a rookie, pretend to leave a window open, and then the defensive back jumped it as soon as the ball was released. Big time play. They love taking advantage of the youngsters, and in this case, it paid off well. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the four before being taken down. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Back to Mixon on first down. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now the Bengals are going to use the first of their timeouts. 
As the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Now it's Burrow. Short throw to Smith. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. On third down, Burrow. And that is too far out in front of his intended target. Incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. Here we go. And a tough ask here. They're going to go for it on fourth down and nine. signal for their third and final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half to the air again burrow and that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now he didn't just deny a big throw there he put that one up in the red zone an excellent play one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over second and ten Now it's Burrow. He will find his man Chase complete. Oh, and he's going to be brought down a few yards short of the goal line. And they're going to be unable to stop the clock from here. So close yet so far. And that's going to be how this first half will come to an end. Charles Davis operating going, getting set for quarter number three here. The Browns going to see the football first, but they trail here as we resume play on EA Sports. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Browns drive about to get started. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. throw on second down and this one incomplete as well we saw this a lot in the first half and it continues these receivers just not able to get much separation so that means they have to win the 50 50 balls they've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them and this time contact and another incomplete pass third down from the gun thompson robinson looking for cooper and it's intercepted and the Bengals will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down in the backfield. Burrow will throw. He completes it to Bowling. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. And now they're in the hurry up. Mix it with a first down carry. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. This is Mix it on the draw. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26 yard line. 46 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a different intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. 
He'll drop this one down to mix it. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They're passing here. Joe Burrow. Flushed out right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. It's J.O.K. Jeremiah Rusu in there for the sack. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. And now look at this. Big game but a fumble. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And a big turnover there is his guy. Talk to the other two. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll break him down at the 39. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. So no gain on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. Well, it looks like they'll move things around here. Off the play fake, Thompson Robinson. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And this is incomplete. Oh, he looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. Here comes the seventh play now in this drive as this is third and ten. Thompson Robinson off of play action. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 38-yard line. Throwing Thompson Robinson. He's going to look in zone here for Cooper. That is incomplete. But you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those, but the coverage has been excellent thus far, and it was again on the last play. Here's second and ten. Now a handoff up the middle. It's four. And he's going to be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bengals 30. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. On third down. Four. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. Going for it. Thompson Robinson. Job defensively on what will be the final play. Here we go. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. Their defense forced the turnover on downs. They've got the lead. They're in good shape. They'll go into a shell here, right? Still got to be careful. Yeah, because they're still running way away from kneel down times. They've got to work on getting first downs. Keep the steps moving, right? Keep the clock going. And above all, ball secure. Don't turn it over. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He lost two there, and it's third down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now. Just stop them, get to the ball. That means it might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Now a nice 
nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. On second down, Burrow. This goes out wide for Mixon. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation. One that they have a much better chance of picking up. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Martin Emerson. And the Browns are right back in this football game. A seismic shift in momentum here in the fourth quarter. That's the break that the defense needed. And you know as well as I do, people are going to question the play call in that situation. Sometimes you have to question the execution, not necessarily the call. And in this case, those defenders found a way to give their team a chance. Start this drive with four. Oh, and he's not going to make it out of the end zone. The push too strong, and that'll be a safety. Now the free kick comes after the safety from the 20 as they bring the punter on to try and get some hang time here. Here's Williams to return. The Bengals drive about to get going. Big stop on the turnover on downs to get the football back, and now it's just all about salting this one away. Yeah, just slowly bleed the clock away. Clock's definitely on your side. And, you know, when we talk about analytics in the game, what is this one, the advanced win metrics? Because if you take care of the football here, bleed the clock down, put it about 95% chance of getting Oh, yeah, I'd say 95 or better. I, and I know you always say it, every coach does. It's just protecting the football at this point. Yeah, and knowing that the defensive guys, they're coming after the ball more than they are the person. They want to get 90 yards rushing for him as he has been tremendous all day long. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Now it looks like he'll throw here. He'll buy some time right. And now Burrow going to be intercepted yet again. And the Browns are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. And he went on the move there and started rolling out. I thought there was a window, but that window closed quickly, intercepted. And sometimes, despite how big your arm talent is, you don't get enough on a throw when you're on the move as opposed to setting your feet and stepping into one. That may have been the case there, and the defense certainly benefited. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Under 90 seconds to go. Here's second and 10. Here's Thompson Robinson. He's going to let it fly. And it's knocked away and incomplete. That was one they needed to connect on. They're down, but not quite out. So you have to figure, with under two minutes to play, they need to hit on something in very short order. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Fourth down, 10 yards to go. Ready? Thompson Robinson. Into the hands of Cooper. And now this is going to be close. The defense says they stopped him, and they did. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Bengals are going to win this football game. 11 mighty. 11 mighty. 11 mighty. 11 mighty. Stop. Here we go with Burrow. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. 
Pitts dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Here we go. Now it's Burrow. Another one into the hands of Jamar Chase. Touchdown! Jamar Chase on a touchdown throw from Joe Burrow. And the Bengals are an extra point away from making this a three-score game. They'll let Mixon try and run it in. And he will get into the end zone to bump the lead up to three scores. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Browns take over first and 10 at their own 28 yard line. Okay, right? The Cleveland offense ready to go. Well, probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the writing on the wall a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. Thompson Robinson will look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Looks like they're going to keep throwing to the bitter end. This one's long since over, but give them credit. They're going to go down fighting. That one incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Thompson Robinson now to throw. And he's got his receiver, Cooper. And they work this well up field across the 45. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. On first down, Thompson Robinson. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Cheetah Bay Aluzie with a pick. And the Bengals will take over possession here up at the 44. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ball game. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How things turn out for him? I think okay. He's a guy in all the commercials now, right? <laughs> yeah, I think he's doing okay. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit.
play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. 